So I'd like to, uh, first of all, welcome all of you to Thai Silicon Valley. And uh, I know all of you are doing amazing things in, in, local, in your own chapters. And then, of course, Nithin and Vijay are here uh, connecting us to all of you. Uh, before I get started, I just wanted to kind of give you a little uh, backdrop on how I look at, uh, yes. So basically, the, I've seen uh, as, uh, as these chapters have evolved over the last 15 years, I've been a chapter member, and I see a lot of uh, fresh uh, new chapters in, uh, in developing parts of uh, our, our communities, their small towns, are doing an amazing job. So when I look at an entrepreneur and how you can be relevant to the entrepreneur, uh, I would divide the whole, whole group of our entire initiatives of, of what you would call chapters uh, into two based upon whether you are from a mature ecosystem, uh, like let's say Silicon Valley or Boston or uh, you know, uh, Delhi, for example, in India, amazing job they're doing. So Atlanta, uh, I'm, I'm not very much Pune, I just heard a lot of praise of Pune. Uh, so my point to you is, if you are already a mature ecosystem and you could draw upon resources that actually you can leverage, uh, uh, which, uh, and the kind of need to really engage with the entrepreneur is very, very different than what you would do if you're trying to be a mentor in Coimbatore. So for example, in the Silicon Valley, being an inspirational mentor is a dated concept. Nobody really has the time to sit with you for more than five minutes. And nobody really wants to give you the five minutes either. So basically, in today's world, it's all about uh, virtual engagements, you know, and then you have very, very specific, the entrepreneur has a very specific need, it takes five, seven minutes to address, and you know, whoever has that expertise can support that willing, willfully, willingly, so it's a mutually consensual engagement, uh, and if he sees that it's in his own, her own domain expertise and can help the entrepreneur, we could facilitate that, so that's the, uh, that's where I'm coming from. So I'll pretty much present today as to what we are trying to do. Last three years, we've been building uh, on this uh, whole concept. And uh, we kicked the tires a few times, and then we've launched the first part of the Taiko portal a few months ago. Uh, we're still making a lot of changes, but, uh, uh, but I'm just going to give you my perspective on how we are going to look at this at Silicon Valley, because it has to be a self-sustaining model. The very first thing but, that we think about being an entrepreneur is you gotta make it work, right? You know, it's not like somebody is gonna come and drop us goodwill money. So basically, it has to be a self-sustaining program. So we built this platform uh, called Thai Eco. Basically, uh, Thai for the brand Thai and Eco for the ecosystem of entrepreneurs. And of course, we have a mobile app. I don't know how many of you guys actually downloaded our Thai Eco app. I'm, I'm seeing only my executive director and, of course, uh, my friend Puneet, I bother him every day. And I just see three people, you know. But let me just tell you that. You could connect with 120,000 people on the mobile app that we have right now. And, of course, uh, those have to be earned privileges. So I'll talk about those later. But basically, it's, a, it's an awful lot of work, but it is actually very pure, focused on relevant engagement. It's not like uh, uh, everybody wants to come and connect with, let's say, Nathan, you know. So he won't have the time or the willingness to really engage, first of all. So we need to really manage that. So that's one thing. And then the data gets dated, like 20 to 30% of the data gets dated every single year. That's a tremendous amount of resource allocation to that because it takes a lot of time, a lot of, a lot of uh, real assets, let me put it that way, uh, to keep it current and active and engageable. So basically, right now we have what I would call current and live engagements into startups. Uh, uh, over 15,000 startups. These are primarily mid to late stage. See, we have, you know, probably received in the Type 50 program about like 35 to 40,000 startups as applicants. But about half of them die at the end of the year. When you come back and go and try to invite them, say, hey, you applied last year, you're welcome to come back. We opened up the, the emails bounce. So tell you that, so there's a lot of, uh, uh, death in the early stage startups, and it's very, very difficult to really keep on top of it. We are now tracking about 180,000 startups. When I said tracking, you know, it's like a process where you run a crawler to check to see if the website is live, and if there's any changes in the website for three months, and if they're not, then we are, it's just as good as it's dead, you know? So this is the real world we live in. Uh, so uh, so this, these mid to latest startups are the ones we can really make a difference for. So there are 47,000 uh, senior executives in these startups that, that, uh, that we can connect with instantly, uh, segment them by domain, geographic region, um, and of course, uh, their uh, staging yeah, as a startup. 
So some of them could be uh, could be mid-stage, you know, with a market cap valuation of let's say quarter million, quarter of uh, billion dollars, and some of them could have already raised a quarter billion dollars and could be over a billion dollars. So uh, so we have all of that data that we use, and we are really trying to deploy in a meaningful manner. Then big tech. This is really the most. This is one area where we are sort of um, underrepresented in time. Uh, at least I'm talking from the Silicon Valley perspective, because there are probably 20,000 uh, senior level executives that are, let's say, of South Asian you know, origin, you know, who are probably the easiest ones to appreciate and connect with us, uh, right here in the Bay Area, in the enterprise. But we haven't done much about that. So, uh, so and that's happening everywhere in every major metro. Uh, because of who we are and how we are focused on education, and, uh, and we really grew up the enterprise uh, you know, chain pretty well. Uh, so, but we haven't really engaged them uh, with a data-driven concept. Then, of course, the VCs, you know, and I, I don't think there's a VC fund in the Bay Area without an Indian partner. So not to kind of allude to the India you know, too much, but I just wanted to give you the reality you know, of, of how uh, significantly influential uh, we are, but we haven't really engaged them. Uh, we do have a lot of accomplished VCs in our in our in our uh, community, you know. So in our in a Thai community, that is. So then the services firms. These are the guys who kind of like depend on business from startups as they grow, the the value grows up. So meaningfully, you want to engage with them. So this platform that we've developed right now currently can connect with over 200,000 individuals worldwide. And out of them, about 20,000 are domain experts, specifically in a particular domain, they, they have expertise. So, uh, so I just want to, I think I'm eating up too much of your time, so I'm going to fly through these slides just to give you an overview of this, and I want to talk about how I think we can engage together. So this is kind of like an events portal that we have developed, um, where it's a, there's nothing like this out there in the real world, uh, but uh, it's, a, again, a lot of elbow grease. Uh, we kind of scraped 3,200 conferences all over the world in the last two years, looked at the speaker, who are the speakers, and what uh, domains they're talking on, and uh, you know, that gives you an idea of what their domain expertise is. And then, um, of course, uh, we also see who are, uh, uh, who are the sponsors for those conferences or events. So we know if you say in a, in a blockchain conference, you know, who would be the companies that actually would sponsor, or who would be the companies that would exhibit. These are all data points that we've been, we've been able to pull together but they, are, they keep changing dynamically. Basically, the, there's about 77,000 speakers. Uh, so they would be ranked or categorized on the basis of the number of conferences they speak to, whether they're representing an enterprise and only talking about their enterprise. That means that's pitch money, basically, that they're paying and speaking, as opposed to they being a domain expert and being invited to speak, and they speak to the trend and not to the company. So this is a qualifier. Basically, all those embedded intelligences are really worked on, and a lot of work is still required, by the way, but this is just an early stage. I was just giving you, throwing this out there for you guys. My guys tried to uh, you know, play around with it uh, at Tie Inflect this year, uh, but uh, to be honest with you, uh, none of these guys could decipher the entire, they'd be overwhelmed with the amount of data, so they would rather, rather have like three, given them three contact points and say, why don't you contact or pick from one of these three to come on your panel. Uh, so it was like an overkill. So it didn't really, uh, you know, they didn't really, they weren't able to use it as efficiently because time is of the essence. So if you can plan something six months out uh, and you can invite the most compelling kind of speakers, get on their calendars ahead of time and, uh, and really uh, make it really work, you know. So, you know, that's, how, that's really, once this platform kicks into gear and then we, we're going to go to uh, the next, next uh, test on this. Uh, I think uh, it'll, be, it'll be ready for us to really optimize and engage uh, through, I would like to work with like, uh, the Thai Global guys at the Thai Silicon Valley office because it's all about data propriety. Yeah, I'm sorry. Rama, question. So you talked about the speakers. Do we get connected to them? So for example, if Miami wanted to invite somebody over, would this allow us to get connected or it's just informing us of their existence and their... No, you can only look at their faces. I'm just kidding. So, uh, so basically, we are going to manage that whole platform. We're actually really trying to make it a sustainable model. So when we try to collaborate with uh, other chapters, uh, I will tell you about that a little bit, then you'll understand in a couple of minutes, I'm going to talk about how we are going to collaborate. You know? So um, we also have a program that we are going to launch next month, Startup Anchor Program. We've conceived this three years ago. 
a uh, lot of moving parts, and we really, really couldn't get, get down to, drill down to really defining exactly what are the deliverable, deliverables and how we can engage with total clarity to the startup, say, what exactly am I going to get out of being a part of this program? Because this is going to be a paid program. So particularly, this can be effective in more mature chapters where you have fast-track startups that are engaged within your enterprise, like in Singapore or, or Detroit, tell, you know, you'd be interested in making some money, buddy? OK. So basically, you have like seven or eight chapters that are like rich, uh, locally strong ecosystems with like fast-track startups, very well-funded. So we have an ability to soft connect you to the enterprise. Uh, because VCs, of course, you know, if you're really a good company and you're only fast track, I don't think you'll need much help with us, but we can still connect you to the VCs in, 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 in follow-on rounds if that's going to be helping. But that's going to be a paid program. And I'm going to work with the Thai leadership, Thai global leadership, on how we can really engage and do, uh, do a more collaborative uh, process for that. So uh, I, I will actually, I'm going to be presenting a little bit more deeper dive into this uh, on, uh, on Saturday, Saturday morning session, you know. I'm doing a 15-minute session focused on the Anchor program because that's where all the, all the different tech ecosystems of the world are coming together and speaking about what they do and why we should go there. You know? And we would be able to facilitate you and engage, to engage directly with them. Uh, so that's, uh, that is the, that's the um, gist of exactly what we're doing. There's a lot of other moving ideas and tools we're developing and all that, but uh, here's the thing I want to present to you. Uh, we want to see how we can work with the different chapters. So, Thais, uh, so because of the way this data is structured and the kind of uh, uh, resource infusion that is required and how it is really hard for us to, uh, what you would call, um, uh, offer uh, you know, data in, in such large uh, quantities without any control. You know? So we are going to control that. Uh, but we will be helping you guys and supporting that through a program. Uh, we have uh, three young uh, you know, women who are actually going to be staffing this whole uh, engagement model. So, and Thai Global VJ would be the, probably the uh, contact point for that. So we will come back to you guys with ideas. So we have what we call the influencer circle we put together. It's sort of like the charter member without having to pay for anything and without any strings attached. These are the guys that are significantly um, accomplished. Uh, so what we do is there are some soft values for that. If you go on our website, Taiko, and see influencer, you'll see why should you join to be an influencer. And there's a bunch of reasons why they should join. Uh, and it is actually based upon mutual interest is what we connect people to them. Of course, the domain experts are the ones that have not signed up to be an influencer. So you're willing to sign up, and you're willing to give time. And that's a lot less number of people than there are domain experts. But let me just say you this. We tested this. If you're a domain expert and you didn't really want to be part of the influencer circle, it's almost like I'm, I'm labeling you with something and I don't know what I'm going to get out of it or how I'm going to be represented, so I'd rather not. But if there's anything of significance, come to me kind of deal. And otherwise, too, even if you never met them or engaged with them, if there is a specific need and an organization like us could go and say, hey, here is this startup. This is what they're doing. Is this up, right up your alley. You're the expert. Can we have a few minutes of your time? You know, I'd say half of the times you would get them to, uh, uh, to agree to uh, make time for you. you know, so this is the kind of engagement that we would do. Uh, so not to get too deeper into exactly what the needs of the entrepreneur will be, because they change a lot. So we will have to do that programmatically. And this is going to take a while before we'd be ready for, uh, for opening it up. So asset build is what it is. So I don't know if I have any time to uh, take any questions, but, uh, but I'm around and, you know, Please reach out to me. I'll be there this evening. You know, we can talk. Thank you so much for your time.